Hi, this is a recording to show you how to do 2009 S2 MST question 1C. Find the area of the parallelogram in the plane from my vectors 1, 1 and 2, minus 7. To understand this, this is actually a problem on cross product. In Anton chapter 12, section 4, says that if you have u and v as vector and theta is angle between them and in this case the length of u cross v will be the length of u length of v sine theta and this is actually the area of the parallelogram that has u and v as adjacent size. So how do I interpret this now in the question, so in the question we have the area of a parallelogram formed by 1, 1 and minus 2, 7. So in this case, let's try to figure out what is this parallelogram look like. So I'm going to draw a parallelogram of x, y axis. Let's say this is 1, 1 here. And this and 2, minus 7. Let's say is 2 minus 7 here. In this case, this let's say 1 1 is a vector u and 2 minus 7 is vector v and I form a parallelogram here. So I, I, I'm actually going to find the area of this parallelogram. So in order to find the area of this parallelogram, I need the base and the height. So the base in this case is the length of V. And where's the height now? The height in this case, <coughs> if you look at the angle between U and V, let's say this angle is theta here, then the height in this case, which I can draw here, the height in this case, let's say this is U here, this V here, the height angle in this case is theta. So the height between u and v, the height of this parallelogram is length of u sine theta. So this is how we got this formula. And this is precisely the length of u cross v. So now how do I find the length of u cross v. So first of all, you must know how to find u cross v first. So in this case, in Anton, in the earlier section of sec section 4, you say that if you have two vectors u and v, then the cross product of u and v, let's say u is u1, u2, v3, v is v1, v2, v3, then the cross product in this case can be written as a 3 by 3 determinant with i, j, k in the first row, component of u in the second row, component of v in the third row. Now let's apply it to here. So in our situation, the vector u is 1, 1, i plus j plus 0, k. The vector v is 2i minus 7j plus 0 k. So u cross v is equal to ij k in the first row, 1 1 0 in the second row for component of u, 2 minus 7 0 is the third row for component of v. Now if it, this is a 3 by 3 determinant, we can expand it using a row or column. We select the third column to expand. This will give you k times 1, 1, 2, minus 7. And you expand now, this is equal to k of minus 7, minus 2, this is minus 9k. So u cross v is minus 9k, and so the length of u cross v is the length of minus 9k is equal to 9, as k is a unit vector. This will give you the area of the parallelogram from a u and v. So this will answer the 
part C of the question. Right, the area of program is the length of u cross v. And the key takeaway is now next time when you see two vector from the adjacent side of a parallelogram and they ask you to find the area of the parallelogram straight away, you're going to take the length of u cross v. In terms of computation, this is equal to i, j, k, where u supposed to be u1, i, u2, j, u3, k, and v supposed to be v1, i, v2, j, v3, k, and you expand the 3 by 3 determinant, and you find the length of the vector that will give you the area. That will answer the part C of question 1.